Hello and welcome to another, um, a new battle, um, Future Cup LAPD. Um, do this first. I can't remember what the controls were. It's quite awkward. But okay, go on my hover one. Get the uh, turrets. I thought might as well revisit this. Um, well, there's the blue team. Obviously, I'm for red team. Get some. Come out wherever you are. Whoa. 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 I come on, motherfucker. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> um, yes, it will, because it's good to have like a, a uh, outpost, like near to the blue base. No, hold on a sec. Obviously, this is the map. Obviously, you start on opposite sides. Um, this is my territory, so I've got only a few helicopters at the moment, which is your last defense. Uh, these little green, like, glowy type textures are the outpost. So, obviously, I've got. Um, well, I haven't got that one. And I, n I never really get number two. Uh, that's the blue base. And this is my base now, so usually I only get uh, for uh, the outposts near to the blue base because then when I do tanks, your hover tanks are like very important because they win for battle, battle for this match. Um, they do have like stronger turrets on for base, so roughly they are your last defense. That little shiny blue is actually the uh, ca ca I think his name is uh, Sky Captain I think I'm not sure actually <laughs> I completely forget you know haven't played this for a while um, obviously for P is actually me where I'm standing um, so obviously for objective is Build as many hover tanks as possible and get it inside the enemy base. That's roughly how simple it could be. And for info center is mostly like weapons. If you run out of weapons, you could like pos uh, get a bit more um, ammunition as well as health. And there's like a few turrets around. There's one turret already, which is blue, and in for green, these green pack, they're like no one controls. Obviously, red is mine, or orange is mine. So I actually haven't got my favorite color. Damn it! But anyway. Oh. You do get like points as well. Um, the more points you get, the better. Because the first few levels are pretty easy actually. And then it gets harder and harder and harder and then he does know what your aims are. So he gets smarter basically. It's a lot smarter because he knows what you're doing, he knows where you're coming from, and then he actually does the same thing as what you do. Because he did that a few times, that the higher I go, the, the stronger he gets. 
I live again. Helicopters. Oh, oh god, I'm out of rockets. You could get the, I think it's called the Flying Fortress. Mm. Um, um, Someone actually told me what these are. I actually didn't know what the, that was. Uh, someone told me it was armor. No! I thought it was like you could like. Um, did he? What did he say? Did he say that I just won? Oh my god, I won! Oh, well, cool! <laughs> so, that didn't take very long. Okay, I'm just gonna play another one. Try to take me this time. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time. <laughs> well, hopefully, this time it'll be a little bit more. Uh, more tricky. You're making this too easy. No blue shell at this area. <laughs> Gets a little bit better. You can't 
can't run forever. The base is under attack. Again. Get up. Jeez. Right, I'm gonna get some more defenses on my main base. I showed you in the previous ones as well. actually the first map that I played, you know? Um, I actually lost my first time actually playing the game because I didn't get what it was. There's like an Easter one as well.
live again. Anyway. <laughs> Easy
You know, I lost for a lot of time only because I didn't know what the controls were. is the fact that it's close to the enemy base. A lot closer. Enemy within full base perimeter. I, I live 
Again. It's hard to control at home because uh, you don't use for analogs on these. So you have to use the old like ways. <laughs> so it's pretty awkward. It's only because um, it, it's a lot bigger than the original tanks like these. Technically I'm doing much, much better than the uh, blue. Well, obviously. This map I really do not like whatsoever. The only reason why is the fact that it's like a, a boat war and I really don't like this whatsoever. I find it a lot harder to control when it's like this. Oh god, I just hit my own trigger. Just go straight. Enemy within two base perimeter. Outpost four taken by red team. Wow, I can't do. Oh wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back. Oh, oh God, I'm stuck. One coin. I live again. Blue base is under attack. Oh 
Winter and Leeds. <laughs> Defend your master. Enemy within two base perimeter. Oh, there it is. Oh, if you could do like a vibration, that's me. I might actually build like, not a foreign fortress, but like Enemy something else. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to go to my base and we're going to get the, uh, the um, tank one. Red dreadnought activated. Oh, there it is. That's one of a beast. It really is. You are mine. I'm gonna like uh, escort it. Defend your master. Yo! There's like a few turrets around. There's one turret already which is blue and in for green, these green pack they're like no one controls. Obviously red is mine or orange is mine. So I actually haven't got my favourite colour, damn it. But anyway. Oh. And you do get like points as well. Um, the more points you get, the better. Because the first few levels are pretty easy actually. And then it gets harder and harder and harder and then he does know what your aims are. So he gets smarter basically gets a lot smarter because he knows what you're doing he knows where you're coming from and then he actually does the same thing as what you do yeah. 
I live. <laughs> um, that will help you. Yes, it will, because. It's good to have like a, a uh, outpost, like near to the blue base. No, hold on a sec. Obviously, this is map. Obviously, you start on opposite sides. Um, this is my territory, so I've got only a few helicopters at the moment, which is your last defense. Uh, these little green, like glowy type textures, are a outpost. So obviously, I've got. Um, well, I haven't got that one, and I, n I never really get number two. Uh, that's a blue base, and this is my base now. So usually I only get uh, for come out, uh, the outposts near to the blue base, because then when I do tanks, your hover tanks are like very important because they win for battle, battle for this match. Um, they do have like stronger turrets on the base so roughly they are your last defense that little shiny blue is actually the uh... Ca ca I think his name is uh... Sky Captain I think I'm not sure actually <laughs> I completely forget you know haven't played this for a while um... obviously for P is actually me where I'm standing. Um, so obviously, the objective is build as many hover tanks as possible and get it inside the enemy base. That's roughly how simple it could be. And for in the center is mostly like weapons. If you run out of weapons, you could like pos uh, get a bit more. Um, ammunition because he did that a few times like the higher I go the, you know, the stronger he gets I live again helicopters oh oh god I'm out of rocket Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Did he die there? Almost. I've always wanted to be um, the one that flies, you know? I live again. Hello and welcome to another, um, a new blah, 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 battle, um, Future Cup LAPD. Um, do this first. I can't remember what the controls were. It's quite awkward. Oh. Okay, go on my hover one. Get the, uh, Turrets. I thought I might as well revisit this. Um, well, there's the blue team. Obviously, I'm for red team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 